Hey everyone, welcome to the Songwriting Studio. My name is Dean and in this video we're gonna look at how to get endless royalty-free background music that's free to you. And no, this is not clickbait and no, you don't even have to be a musician to do this. So we are going to be using GarageBand to curate our own background music. And again, I wanna say you don't have to be a musician. I'm gonna show you how to do this in really just a few clicks and by using your ear. And this technique will work just the same on the Mac or OS version of GarageBand as well as the iOS or the iPhone, iPad version of GarageBand. The main example I'm gonna show you is gonna be the Mac OS version of GarageBand. But later in the video, I'm gonna do another quick example using my iPhone so you can see exactly how to do it from your phone or iPad. So let's dive in. So we're starting inside of an empty project within GarageBand and you can really choose any of these. I'll just put the software instrument for now. But the main thing that you need to look for is loops. Apple loops are these little music clips that are royalty free and there's all different kinds of them. There's more modern pop stuff, there's rock stuff, country stuff. There's tons and tons of loops, but they all live right here under this menu, the loops menu. So we'll click that button and then you'll see this populate with thousands of loops. So you could go through here like all day and not run out of different music clips that you can use absolutely free. But here's the thing, if you're seeing some of these grayed out, that means you haven't downloaded all the available loops. So you can go up to GarageBand, hover over Sound Library, and then click Download All Available Sounds, and this will download every single loop and instrument that's available to you in GarageBand. But for now, let's get back into our loops menu, and I wanna show you how to create really cool background music with just a few clicks. So you could scroll through all one million of these loops, but that's gonna take a lot of time and they're all just randomly thrown together in alphabetical order. So my pro tip would be to go into some of the different sections and kind of whittle down your search parameters. So if I click into instruments, I can choose anything, pianos, I, I could choose synthesizers, I could choose really about anything and it's gonna whittle down my search into just those things. This is just pianos. But what I wanna show you in this menu as well is jingles. So jingles are like these short songs that are almost already put together. And there's some really, really cool ones. This is Dean Davis bringing you the news live tonight! So you get the idea, there's tons of options. So here's what we're gonna do. Once you find one you like, let's go back to this fashion show music. I'm going to pull it into its own track down here below. And then I'm going to hold my mouse over the top half and do what's called looping it. I'm just gonna loop it out, okay, a bunch of times. And now we can hit play here and listen to it. All right, so we have this repeating loop now. That's cool in and of itself, but we need to do step two, which is add drums, okay? So what we're gonna do is click out of this and we're in instrument. And now I'm gonna go to beats down here because this is kind of an electronic song. And I'm just gonna scrub through these beats and look for ones that have multiple takes to them. So we have this Viper beat, but it also has Viper beat two and Viper Beat 3 even. And you can see there's multiple ones with this one or two option. It's gonna be a more intense option and then a softer dialed back version. So what I'm gonna do is grab one of the lighter versions. I'm gonna put it here. Do that loop again. 
And then I'll grab a more intense version, put it here below it, loop it again. And now let's listen to this. We have this progression from no beat to a light beat to an intense beat. You're starting to get the idea. I have two tracks on there, which I didn't create. I just listened to them and dragged them into my project and made a really stinking cool background track that's completely free. And again, don't think this is all like electronic or modern pop music. You have tons of options. You can even go under genre and pick a style or flavor of music. And when you click on that, all of the loops within that are going to be that genre of music. It'll give you beats and instrumentation, which you can pair together to make some really cool background music. So the last thing I wanna show you here in this project before we jump onto our iPhone is how to lengthen the project as well as how to know how long it is. So if you go right up here, you can see there's an option to click on time. So if I click on time, it tells me how long this is, okay? So if I go back to beats and project and I copy all of this so I can copy and paste it as many times as I want now I click up here I go look at time and now this is a minute and 15 second loop I mean you could make it five minutes you could make it 10 minutes however long you want to make it you can do it then when you're ready to export the song all you have to do is go up to the share menu hit export song to disk name your song and then you choose what file format you want to export it as. If you're looking to save space, I would definitely recommend the MP3 version. But if you want an uncompressed file format to bring into your video editing software, then I would go with the uncompressed AIFF file. So hit export, and now you have a great background track for your video. So now let's jump over to the iPhone and I'll show you quickly how you can use the same technique on your phone. So if I click on GarageBand, I will simply hit Create Document. And then really you can choose any of these, but just click on the keyboard, it doesn't matter. And then the button you need to press is this box here, which will take you to the main work window of GarageBand. And just like in GarageBand OS, in the top right-hand portion of the screen, there is the Loops button. And when we click on that, we can see all of the loops that GarageBand iOS has to offer us. If you see this little number up here, that means you actually have more loops that you can download if you so choose. And again, we have these three tabs that we can choose from instruments, we can choose from genres, or we can pick from descriptors if we want to narrow our search. Let's try instruments this time, and I'm gonna click on synthesizers. But here's a note that I wanna make for those of you who are wanting to do more modern pop style music. You should go ahead and click on this gear up here, click on song settings, click on tempo, and speed up the tempo to about 125 or even 130 because most of the loops that you're wanting to use were created at a faster pace and they won't sound right if they're slowed down. So hit done. Now hit the loops button. And if I wanna use the loop, I simply hold down, click and hold down. That will start to appear and then drag it to the beginning. Now hit play and you'll hear this in your project. Very cool. Now let's go back to the loops library and let's add some drums. So click on instrument. We're gonna go down to all drums. And then if I wanna get even more specific, I'll click on genres and I'll go down to electronic. And now it gives me all of the electronic drum beats available. I like that one. Let's click and hold, bring it over and we have. So if you wanna make this longer than just the 20 seconds it is right now, you'll hit this plus button here, which takes you to this menu where you can actually choose to lengthen your song. So we only have section A right now, and what we're gonna do is click duplicate. And that actually makes our song twice as long. We could duplicate it again and make it four times as long. And if you wanna see all of these sections at the same time, simply click on all sections, hit done, and now you can see we have a much longer song. But maybe you don't want that drum loop in the beginning, so you can click on it, hit delete, and now you have just the instrument. 
And now the drums come in. Very cool, right? So now how do we export this? How do we use this? Very easy, click the triangle up here, go to My Songs. Now we're gonna click in the top right of the screen on the Select button, then simply select the song that you wanna export from, and you can click this middle file icon if you wanna save it to your phone, either on your iCloud or somewhere on your phone, or you can click the Export button here, then click Song, and you can choose if you wanna export it as an MP3 or as an uncompressed WAV file. You can name it, you can even put a picture to it, and then hit Share. And now you can choose to airdrop it to your computer. You can send it as a text message, in an email, to your Google Drive folder, to a voice memo, really wherever you want to. And then you can import that song into your video editing program and you now have awesome background music that you've curated yourself that didn't cost you a penny. So that wraps it up for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And beyond that, if you are a songwriter, an artist, and you wanna grow in the craft of songwriting, you wanna combine it with the art of recording and music production, you wanna release your own music, and you wanna do it all from home in a high quality way, well, then welcome to the Songwriting Studio. I would love to have you stick around. This is Dean signing out, and I will catch you in the next video.